Well, they chose to do something that seems to have worked for their benefit. You should always keep in mind, what is it that I want out of this? This is why I'm saying when you're pulled over, you should ask yourself a question. Now, after all this settles down, you know, and everything is cleared up a year from now, how is this incident going to look to me? Or am I going to be here to witness how it all played out? All right? That's the first thing you want to know. Okay? Are you going to be breathing this time next year? So, I say, don't fuss, don't fight, don't flee. All right? And see how that works. Does that work against you? Or does that work for you most of the time? Now, there are sometimes it won't work at all because sometimes the person is just kill you anyway. I'm talking about like a person acting as a police officer who's really not a police officer. He's a race soldier. That's what the code calls it, all right? He's an imposter. He's acting like a police officer, but he's really not one. He's a white supremacist pretending to be a police officer, and he might intend to kill you regardless of what you do. You didn't fuss. You didn't fight, you didn't flee, but you just walked up and yelled, gun, because that's all he's got to do. Yes. Gun, and jump back, you know. And unload on you. And unload on you. Yeah. All right? And then walk up and say, oh, I, he, it looks like he has something in his hand. But yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, there was a cell phone. Did, uh, yeah, uh, you know, that that's unfortunate, and, you know, and I'll write a report on it and all like that, but. I mean, the way he moved his hand, I was sure he had a gun in his hand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was absolutely certain. Yeah, with the standard text, I feared for my life. Right, I feared for my life. I mean, you know, I, you know, I, I had no intent. I was fixing to give him a ticket. That's all I was going to. But do. he moved. <laughs> he, he jumped out, and I thought he had that gun, and I didn't know what was going on. And my goodness, I mean, I've been on the force a long time. This is the first time I've ever had to unload on somebody like that. Uh, you know, and that's all he's got to do.